Hello, I'm Professor Reno Cherio, and I'm a skin cancer specialist at Bart's Cancer Centre at Bart's and the London NHS Trust. If you've recently been diagnosed with a skin cancer, you probably have many questions. Most important thing you should know is that most skin cancers are completely curable. During this short film, I'll be talking generally about the various treatments available. I'll also tell you how you can find out more about skin cancer and the specialist work we're doing at Bart's Cancer Centre. Please remember, if you have any worries at all, do talk to your own doctor or specialist nurse. There are two main types of skin cancer, melanoma and non-melanoma skin cancer. Non-melanoma skin cancer is the most common kind of cancer in the UK. 100,000 new cases are diagnosed each year. Fortunately, it's completely treatable in the vast majority of cases. There are two main types of non-melanoma skin cancer, basal cell and squamous cell. They're caused mainly by sun damage and so tend to occur on sun-exposed parts of the body, such as the face, scalp and ears. Surgery is the first-line treatment for all types of skin cancer. It's usually done under local anaesthetic and is often all that's needed to get rid of non-melanoma skin cancers. Some patients may also need a skin graft to help close up the area from where the cancer has been surgically removed. This is usually a minor procedure. Newer non-surgical treatments are increasingly being used for certain types of non-melanoma cancer and precancerous areas. One of these is photodynamic therapy. It works by exposing the cancerous areas with special cream and then light, which causes the cancer cells to die. Cryotherapy is another option where the cancer is frozen to get rid of it. We also use specialist ointments, which can be very effective in some cases. Radiotherapy is another way to treat non-melanoma skin cancer if the tumour is in an awkward spot or it covers a big area. Occasionally, radiotherapy can be given after surgery to ensure all the cancer cells have gone. Radiotherapy, which was developed here at Bart's, uses high-energy waves to target the cancer. Usually, it involves coming into hospital every day for three weeks for a short daily dose of treatment. At Bart's Cancer Centre, we have particular experience in treating non-melanoma skin cancer in patients with weakened immune systems. They are more at risk from these kind of skin cancers, for example, people with organ transplants. We have a dedicated group of doctors working in the clinic and in the labs, looking at why such patients are more prone to this kind of skin cancer. Melanoma is the other main form of skin cancer. It is less common than non-melanoma, with 10,000 people a year diagnosed. It often starts in an existing or a new mole. Surgery is again the first-line treatment for melanoma. Here at the Bart's Cancer Centre, we also offer a specialist test to new patients called a sentinel lymph node biopsy. This helps us to quickly identify people in whom melanoma may have already spread. Sometimes an operation is needed to remove nearby lymph nodes if these are affected. Although melanomas are more serious than non-melanomas, most people are successfully treated. And there is a full range of therapies available, including chemotherapy and radiotherapy, to support these patients whose cancer has spread. Research is going on all the time at Bart's Cancer Centre into new treatments and cures for skin cancer. But remember, every individual's cancer is different, and your doctor will be happy to answer any questions you may have, including the side effects of your treatment, both short-term and long-term any trials or experimental treatments that might be appropriate for you. Also, where you can talk to a specialist nurse. And finally, you can look at the following websites for more detailed information, including how to be referred to Bart's Cancer Centre.